Yes, it's being live streamed. We understand. You straight? Uh, yeah, it's popping up. It's popping up. You know, we it, it, it's there. It is okay. Praise God. Looks like we are good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. All right. So let me. I'm back here. Amen. So let us let me move here. Let me share my screen. Amen. Praise God. All right. Share. Amen. Praise God. Okay. So, so amen. So why don't we go ahead and begin Bible study here? Yes, sir. Today. Amen. We'll begin with an opening word of prayer. Then we'll move into our Q&A section to see if there are any questions uh, or answers that I, the questions I can answer. And then if we have that all, then what we'll do, we'll uh, go uh, right into our lesson. We'll pick up where we left off. Amen. Mm -hmm. So here, let's let's open up with a word of prayer. Dear Father God, creator of the heavens and the earth, God, we call on your name right now, God, asking you to allow your Holy Spirit to rest, rule, and abide on this Bible study. Um, Father God, we are hoping and praying that we learn something about you today that we may not have known before, or we may have known and forgotten, and we need to be reminded of. Father God, you are the almighty God. And God, we need to know that because you're the almighty God, there's nothing that you cannot do. There's nothing that you will not do. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing that you will keep us from doing if it means uh, fulfilling your will. And so God, let us uh, learn today not to be uh, anxious about anything. Let us learn today um not to be worried about anything let us learn today not to be um uh, scared of anything mm -hmm. for god who can stand against you who can oppose you who can resist you no one not anyone and so god since that's the truth let us walk in the faith that you're calling us to have. Let us be the servants and the stewards you're calling us to be. And let us, God, uh, 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 serve you in ways yes, that Lord. fills your will here on this earth. Now, Father God, I ask a special blessing for Brother Sean and Sister Carol. I, I pray that you bless their family, bless their community, bless their lives, bless them. I pray, God, a special blessing for our church family. Yes, I pray, Lord. God, a special blessing for my family. I pray, yes, God, Lord. a special blessing mm -hmm. uh, upon all those, God, that will seek to do your will. And, God, mm -hmm. I pray that you'll let people come join us for Bible study and to participate and to experience the goodness, the fullness of your goodness and grace here during this session. It's in your son's mighty, matchless, marvelous, magnificent name that we do pray. Amen. 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 We are. Amen. We're up and running. Amen. Mm -hmm. So let's move over to our um our Q and A session. Uh, it, it, are there any questions you may have from any sermon you've heard me preach or someone preach? Anything you've been reading, studying? Anything you heard another minister say, or anything that has hit your mind and spirit that I can help you with? You want to ask those questions now? I see Sean nodding. Amen. Praise God. And then he throws it right out of his wife. Look at him, boy. <laughs> Kill him. Oh. <laughs> I think you were sleeping. I guess I had a couple of Bible writing down, but this one but, I remember. You remember this one, yes. John 3 16. Uh huh. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, mm -hmm. that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's right. That's the word. Should instead of shall not perish. Say that part, that last part, why is it shall not perish? Why is it should not perish versus shall not perish? Okay. <clears throat> um, I, and that, that's a good question. Let me, and, and in fact, I can I tell you that easily because what God is saying, this is really a, he's really the writer's borrowing a principle from law. Mm. 
anytime you use any word other than shell, may, can, should, if, right. Uh, uh, you're giving the person or condition discretion whether or not it's going to happen. Mm. All right. When you use the word shall, you're taking away all discretion. Yeah. So when you say something shall happen or shall not happen, then, then there's no discretion. It can't, it either must happen or, or, or it or not. must not happen. Mm -hmm. There's no ifs, ands, and buts. So when the writer uses that, that anyone who believes in him shall not perish. Uh, what 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 that what that is? That's a promise to us that every person that calls upon the name of Jesus and believes in Him as their personal Lord and Savior, when this life is over, this body dies, but their spirit shall not mm -hmm. die, and they shall uh, spend eternal life with mm -hmm. God in heaven. And so, what that is really what what's happening? The writer is trying to convey to you that. It's a done deal. If you believe mm. in Christ, if you believe in, in the Lord God Almighty, it's a done deal. You yeah. ain't got to worry. Yeah. You ain't got to stress. You ain't got to feel any kind of way. Uh, God is has, has set it in stone. He's made it mm. so. And because he's made it so, you're good. Because trust mm. me, because uh, I'm looking down right here at the New Revised Standard Version, and mm -hmm. I think they made a horrible mistake because oh, they they they've used the word "may not" "may" instead of "shall not." Oh, really? And, and, yes, and I think may I not. think yeah, yeah. because uh, what that yeah. says that says that throws into question the 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 definitiveness of God's promises. Mm. Well, I mean, uh, how do you, how do you how do you reconcile that with the word that says God is a man that he shall not lie, or the son of man that his promises shall fail? You know what I'm saying? You can't reconcile that, so it has to be a shall not. But go ahead, you were at, you were asking a follow up question, Sister uh, 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 Kara. I can hear it because of what you're saying. I guess I always thought it was shall not, and should not. But then I said. Should not sounds like there's an escape clause that right. everyone who believes may not mm -hmm. be saved. It's like there's some other condition. Mm -hmm. So that was why I was wondering about that. We went and checked a couple of other Bibles, the including other, yeah. the King James, and it says should also. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, that 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 should really really read really shell. Um, because again, God mm -hmm. is definitive. Yeah, I'm yeah. God, God, God's making a promise to everyone. Right. And if you give, if you give there any wiggle room, mm. the promise could fail. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 like for example, let me make a distinction. So, I today was Phil, excuse me, Phil Day at Ryan's school. She told me it that it was going to be field day. I knew it, but in the hustle and bustle of life, I forgot. Right, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. So last night while we're at dinner, she says it like like it's like like it's no big thing. So daddy, uh, when you come out the field day tomorrow, and I'm like, huh? But I come where? And she's like, tomorrow's field day. I said, like, oh, it is. Oh my it? gosh, yeah. I said, what time does it start? So I'm hoping it starts later in the morning. Right, right. I've got, I, I've already set, scheduled us for Inspirational Wednesday and right, right. our conference call, our prayer conference call. She said 8.30. So part of me was like, amen, praise God. Another part of me is like, oh man, because I, I wasn't able to be there right when it started. But I, told, I, I, said, I said, well, you know what? I'll make sure we end Inspirational Wednesdays tomorrow, right okay. at 8.30. I'll go rush, take a shower, get dressed, right. and come up to the school. Cause sure, school's sure. right around the corner. I do understand. So, so that's what I did. I I made when when I saw it was eight twenty seven. I started wrapping it up. I do understand. So, right. Yeah, so at eight thirty, we were we were down, and I right. ran upstairs, took a shower, got myself together, and right. went out there and was able to spend an hour and a half with her. Very nice. Good. Out Good. of the two hours. I understand. But but what happened? My promise became very shaky there. You sure. know. Understand. You know. Yeah. Uh, uh, again, because I wear so many hats. Right. 
I forgot one promise and making another promise. I can understand. Well, 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 God wears more hats than I do, but He mm. never forgets the promises. Amen. He makes. Yes, sir. I mean, I mean that that's that's one of the praise reports that we can we can say about God. God right. is not a, a a person that like us that He shall forget the promises that He makes. Well, he, when uh, he yeah. says something, he says it. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You you may not be able to bet on many things, but you can mm -hmm. bet on, yeah, bet yeah, on God's on. promises. I agree. I agree. Okay. Thank you. Because here's the thing. If we throw this promises promise in the question category, the question mm -hmm. category, we, we need to start throwing other promises. That's right. I agree. Because guess what? Mm -hmm. The word says "I we should do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthens us. Mm -hmm. change it to a may or mm -hmm. should it now sounds like you're not quite sure that you're right. I, Jesus I, has I, the power to enable us yeah. to do all things that's yeah. right yes sir you know it's, it's like changing all all things work for the good of those who love God and called according to the purpose to some things many things work mm -hmm. yeah a few there, things there's, yeah. there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a space there where some things may not be working I understand you know, so again, there's some things about God, about Christian faith mm -hmm. that are fundamental mm -hmm. and, and where I, I'm not even going to argue with you about it. You, know right. yeah. you, you can say what you want to say. You're not changing my belief on it. I do understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And one of those is the promise that mm -hmm. all yes, those man. who believe in Christ and the sacrifice he made shall not die, but have yes, eternal life. Mm hmm. You know, I mean that 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 that's where we hinge everything on, mm -hmm. on Christianity upon. I, I hear you, yes, sir. I mean, we 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 can't we can't become equivocate equivocal on that now. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, we we we've got we've got an entire church, and I don't mean just first fellowship. I mean a, the the church of the Bitsy, the body of Christ, I on yeah. that one promise mm -hmm. and whatnot. So okay. yeah, but but it's, that's a good question. That's yeah. a very good question. Well, Pastor, yes. Another question is. Okay. Why would they use should instead of shall? Why, Why should, do you think they would translate it that way? Because many, <clears throat> many of these translations. But I mean, that seems to be a lot of the Bible translated should instead of shall. I, I, I know uh, many of these translations are, the editors are trying to make the word palatable. Mm. They're, try, they're trying to make it palatable. They're trying to make it easily digestible, mm -hmm. easily understand. acceptable, mm -hmm. easily. That's why we keep getting revisions of these mm -hmm. translations because what's happening, what, what these editors are encountering is someone is contacting them saying, I don't like how you, how you translated that. And that makes me feel uncomfortable. And mm -hmm. I don't want to feel uncomfortable. I want to feel feel affirmed and encouraged mm -hmm. and for the most part you should feel affirmed and encouraged but here's the problem not everything is meant to affirm you positively yeah. okay you we, we, what 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 we have seen to have forgotten is that there is affirmation through uh negative reinforcement mm. amen parents do this all the time the reason why y'all claim y'all claim y'all putting us on punishment amen i'm just gonna say that sean and because you yes. look like one of those been lying to your child all her life <laughs> you know but reason why you claim you putting her on punishment is because you love her and want right. the best for her right exactly. that's, a, that's an affirmation uh -huh. but i hear yeah but but you're doing it through a negative reinforcement mm -hmm. you're taking everything away from her you're not right. letting her do what she wants to do right and you're making her stay in her room right, uh, right. for a period of time. That's negative reinforcement. But you're doing it because you're affirming her. Right. I, I hear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We don't. We don't like that yes, because Lord. we think that the word of God should always be happy, go lucky. Right. 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 Eh? I've even had a church leader come to me at 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 first fellowship and say to me. You know what? I don't like that you don't preach sermons like uh, uh, Joel Olstein. Somebody else, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Right. I said, like, like, yeah. They said, yeah. He preaches a sermon where I is so happy and I feel good after I leave right. there. I leave. Yep, yep. I, I said, have you ever heard of the term anesthesia? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. I said, I said, what's anesthesia? They said, well, that's what they give you when you that's go right, have yeah. surgery to, to numb the pain. That's right. I said, I said, well, what Joel is doing is giving you spiritual anesthesia. I'm not trying to <laughs> knock Joel, but Joel <laughs> yeah, has just... no, he has no theology, and nothing he preaches about is yeah. going to help you come yes, Monday sir. morning when right. you are in a jam. Right. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> But I think what this person is saying to me is a mentality that we have. Mm-hmm. In fact, we were dealing with this in Inspiration Wednesday this morning. Mm-hmm. Um, if we're going to be accountable as God's the servants, disciples, and stewards, we got to stop looking for the easy way out of doing things. Well, mm-hmm. The quick way, the easy way, the painless way. Well, we got to stop looking for the hookups all the time. Right. And, yeah. and, and in fact, we've got to put hand to plow and right. get busy plowing. Good work, yeah. Good work, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you got to put you at some point. You got to put the effort in. Yes, sir. All right. So, my my problem with many of these translations, <laughs> Carol, is that they're trying to make it more palatable, easier for someone to accept it. But the rule in biblical interpretation is that if you have multiple ways of interpreting an original language, the original, original language that the scripture is written in, you always take the harder, the hardest way of interpreting because that's more than likely the, the original way it was meant because editing is always, even from back then, editing has always been meant to make it easier. So mm-hmm. if it's, it's been steadily been made easier, then if you want to get to what it originally says, you go look for the hardest reading. Mm-hmm. And many times the hardest reading is the one that does not feel good. Right, I hear you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it, it does not feel good. It, it does not sound good. And it mm-hmm. really paints God in a bad light, you know? Uh, in fact, I wonder sometimes if we were to pick up an original manuscript of some of these scriptures, especially scriptures where characters are supposed to be upset. Right, right, right. right. now, they don't, they don't seem very upset in these English translations. Right, right. You know, they, they, the word says they're upset, but it doesn't read like it. Mm-hmm. I wonder how we would feel if we picked up the original, the original uh, manuscripts and saw what the curse words of the day were. Uh, versus how would we feel about that yeah Yeah. i think many of us would claim that uh someone is trying to pull fraud over on god because Mm. we've been so used to the niceties uh in scripture that we are just unfact again uh uh a couple weeks ago uh, when I was talking about the Lord planning, the Lord's intention to kill Moses, mm-hmm. if y'all could have seen y'all faces when I said that, <laughs> I mean, it's, Sean, you good, you good, <laughs> you you know the scripture, Carol, you you good too. But I looked around and some of the faces like, what in the world are you saying? God does not kill anyone. And I was like, and I'm sitting here chuckling myself like, oh, what well, little do you know? <laughs> God killed people indiscriminately, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But but what that said to me was like, those people that were taking issue with me mm-hmm. seeing that had come to a point where they're unwilling to see God in that light. Right, right. Unwilling, and that's why I said, I said it's right there in the scripture. I'm not making mm-hmm. it up. Right, right, right. And, please, yeah. and, and please don't try to wa- wash it away. Okay. Uh, like I remember I was at a, a, a service once and this one preacher was preaching and he was preaching a scripture where it talked about God sending an evil spirit to harass and harangue Saul. Mm-hmm. And when he got to that part of the scripture where it talked about God, he was trying to work this thing out where the evil spirit did not come from God. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was such a disservice because mm-hmm. One of the things you have to remember about Old Testament scripture and the Old Testament, Lucifer is not the, he's not the trouble that we make him out to be. Mm. Christians have deified him. We've made him the polar opposite of God. We made him like, uh, uh, like Lex Luthor is the Superman or the Joker okay. is Batman. We made him the polar mm-hmm. opposite enemy when the right, truth right. is he is not. 
He right. is not the poor. And, and in Old Testament theology, Hebrew theology, there was only God. Mm-hmm. They don't believe in a in a in a tri triune God. There's not a God. Is not a, in the in the form of a Father, Son, Son and, and Holy Spirit. Spirit. He is just God. Mm-hmm. Just God. And so everything begins with God, everything ends with God. Nothing happens without God. Any mm. evil that <clears throat> occurred, Hebrews understood that it came from God. Right. But the problem is because we have accepted such a watered down theology, this and the mess of thing, he was preaching to a room of other ministers that had been to school. Mm. And I watched, there were some that affirmed it, but I watched more of us right. with him talking about, you're doing a disservice. You should preach it the way it's written, not the way you want it to read mm-hmm. and whatnot. And, but again, that's that fear of serving food that is hard for people to chew, swallow, mm. and digest. digest. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. We can't always drink baby milk, baby right. form yeah. all the time. Grow up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because at some point in your, your body needs more than baby food. Right. My nurse, but yeah. Some point you got to start picking up some 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 meat, some vegetables, some sure. bread, some carbohydrates, sure. and, and start eating those things. Mm-hmm. Because that's what your body needs in order to right. right. Same right. thing. We, we, it can't always be God is good, God is great. Thank you. Right, 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 right. Thank you for my day. Yeah. Bow our heads, we all are fed, give us our daily bread. Amen. Mm-hmm. At some point, it can't be now I lay me down to sleep. Right. I pray the Lord myself the key. Hey. If I die before I lay. At some point, you've got to grow up and grow mm-hmm. out of that immature right. status right. as a believer. Right. I know someone feels I'm picking on them, so let me change it so no one feels I'm picking on them. Mm-hmm. Amen. Because someone's going to be watching this video and say, you know, Pastor Al is picking on me. At right. some point... Every time trouble shows up, you can't lose your mind that trouble has shown up. I understand. Yes, sir. At some point, you got to yeah. realize that storms, i.e. troubles, are That's right. part of life. It's going to come, yeah. That's right. And that instead of getting bent out of shape, you ought to head directly into the storm, knowing that you aren't going into the storm alone. Right. God is so, going in there with you. In fact, God's amen. already in the storm. Amen. I if you need to get in there. Surely. So, so that's why I think, Carol, many translations use these words that connote, denote, imply equivocation, mm-hmm. imply discretion, right. imply possibility. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing with God, there are, we are given many possibilities, many opportunities, but there's certain things that are, that, that are not in question. Right, right, right. You know, I, I could I could care less what your sexual orientation is. I'm more concerned about how do you how do you walk out your faith? Surely, surely. I care less whether you white or black. How do you walk mm-hmm. out your faith? I could surely. care less whether you're a male or female. How do you walk mm-hmm. out your faith? I could care less surely. if you're young or old. How surely. do you walk out your faith? Mm-hmm. Right. That's a question. And if you still over here being a Christian for 55 years. But your Christianity still got uh, training wheels on it. Something, wrong. <laughs> yeah. Something is wrong. Yes. Amen. Amen. A- a- after fifty-five years of being a Christian, you should be able to talk to some things, and some yeah. things re- change just because you talk to them. I understand, yes, sir. The word says, "Life or death is in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat of its fruit." So, mm-hmm. guess what? Your every time you open your mouth. Life should be happening. Death Amen. should be receding yeah. and life should be restoring. Yes, sir. That's why I keep speaking life to you, Carol. That's why, life, that's why I keep speaking life to you. You're going to live. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. That's why I wanted us to celebrate Brother Jalen, even though he wasn't there at his church, because guess what? Persons don't have to be here to speak life. Don't you just speak right, life? You're right. And here's the thing: because you're speaking life, you're speaking the word. Mm-hmm. The word will go find whoever you right, speak right. life to. What's your question? Who is oh, my bo- question. Oh, oh, my- Jalen is the is the son of Angela and Kenneth Wright. 
Gabe oh, the, the, the yeah, big okay. guy. He went to go play football. And oh yeah, okay. We we there. Oh yeah, when you mentioned that, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the, 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 the small, the small guy. Yeah, we we know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If he's small, hey Sean, if he's small, you and I are tiny. Okay. I know. <laughs> and, and brother Sean, let me just brother Sean, let me say this for the record. Yes, sir. I appreciate you bringing one of your smaller jackets to church where you could barely fit in that just to make me <laughs> think that I can't wear your clothes. I need you to wear the jacket you normally wear that I know that I can fit in it too. Amen. All right. So, so you, you're suggesting that I was wearing somebody else's jacket. I understand. Okay. Yeah, you, 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 because God, you God, God told you ahead of time, Pastor Al going to tell you that y'all the same size. And what <laughs> happened, you don't want to share. So you brought in someone <laughs> else's clothes. Hey, yeah, I got you. <laughs> all right i'll try to do better next week all right yeah, yeah, yes yeah. Yeah. there's a question I, I, wife asked. okay all right amen anything uh, else it's, it's, not another, it's not another question but um i know i'm not alone in this observation oh, okay i guess as we grow in christ when we first start learning about the lord uh -huh. <clears throat> when you read the old testament and then you read the new testament you really do think it's two different gods. Yes, you do. One God seems like he's so. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to say the words how you really think. Mm -hmm. And then on the other one, he seems so loving. Mm -hmm. You say, how could they be compatible? And for me personally, I think it took me years to reconcile that God is all loving and mm -hmm. all Amen. good and all of that. Because mm -hmm. in the back of your mind, you always have. Killing folks. The way out. Yeah. <laughs> Killing folks. For, hey. for little things. Wow. You know, like the guy who was um, uh, bringing the ark and he touched it to keep it from falling. Uh -huh. yep. And then Doop. the Lord killed him. I mean, right. you say to yourself, oh boy, that's a small thing. Yeah. Cruel. Right. It's right. cruel. Yeah. We think it's cruel. It's one yeah. little thing. I understand. Yeah. But it's all throughout the Old Testament. <clears throat> Yes, it um, is. For being killed and everything. And then in the new, it's like the Lord Jesus came and it's complete opposite. <laughs> so I guess I just say that to mm -hmm. say it was going on with what you were saying before. Mm -hmm. But that's why I said, was that, and I don't mean to keep bringing this up, but okay. I'm saying it to get it caught, stuck Clean in my mind. Brain. Yeah. Um, about shall and should, because mm -hmm. I even looked it up, the difference between mm -hmm. shall and should. Mm -hmm. and should means there's an escape clause, so mm -hmm. to speak, and shall mm -hmm. makes it. Definitive, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's shall. Definite, yeah. So that's all. I, uh, uh, oh, no problem. No, no problem. Okay, in fact, can go on. I'm finished. In, in fact, so let, let me just tackle something right quick based mm -hmm. on what you just said. Um, Jesus makes a statement to the disciple and the people around him. He said, and I'm paraphrasing. He said, you thought I came to get rid of the law. But I tell you, not one stroke of the law will be erased until it's completely fulfilled. Yeah. All right. What Jesus is saying to us in that context is that just because he's there and he's extending mercy more times than not to persons mm -hmm. does not mean that the God that sent him is no longer a God of order, justice, and wrath. He's not. Because in fact, if you pay attention to Jesus, what he says Jesus essentially tells us that God has temporarily suspended his intention to impose wrath mm -hmm. and that what he's doing, he's being merciful in a sense to give, give everyone a chance to get right. This mm -hmm. is why the parables about the banquets and about the, all the banquets and how people mm -hmm. on the outside are gnashing their teeth. This is about uh, 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 the parables of the wheat 
in the tears, where mm-hmm. the tears are thrown into the fire, where the tears are gnashing teeth. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, 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 so the idea of wrath, judgment has not disappeared. It's just that Jesus comes as, as, an, as a mediator and as an olive branch to allow certain people who should die, that's you and me, uh, the chance to avoid death and God's wrath by getting right with God by accepting his son. Mm-hmm. But, here, but, not, but here's the thing. The Old Testament is replete with examples of God being merciful. Mm-hmm. See, that's what we miss. He's just as merciful in the Old Testament as he is in the New Testament. In fact, the number of times that Israel was disobedient and he still didn't do anything to him rivals any mercy that Jesus has 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 uh, shared in the New Testament. It rivals, and so yes, to a new believer, it does seem like the God of the Old Testament is not the God of the New Testament. New, right. But the part of your maturing is realizing that God never changed. His, he's still a God of order. He's still a God of righteousness. He's still a God of judgment and wrath. It's just that now he's made it easier to acquire and attain his mercy and grace than he had in the past. Now we don't need an intermediary in the sense of a sacrificial animal. We don't have to travel around the world to a synagogue or a temple. We don't have to go through rituals. All we have to do is call upon the name of Jesus. Jesus. And then whatever we need done, Jesus does it for us. Mm -hmm. But please understand, all those people talking about, I don't want to hear that Jesus talk. Mm -hmm. Jesus ain't do nothing for me. Right. Jesus ain't real. Right. All the people are going to be gnashing their teeth. Mm. They're going to be writhing in pain in, uh, in hell when the day of judgment comes. Well, and I don't know when that day is. I don't care if it's a million years now. I don't want any part of it. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. I, I, I'd rather believe in God and, and in this life to find out there is no God, then, so. and then to walk through mm-hmm. and believe there's no God and get to the end of life and find out there is. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Thank you. If, if, if I'm leading a good life for the sake of leading a good life, amen, praise God. Mm-hmm. But I believe, I'm convinced that just like there's an earth, there's a heaven. And right. because there is a heaven, that I that, that, that it, 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 there's certain things I am and I am not. Mm-hmm. Or, or a, a, as 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 one of uh, the little characters on my children's uh, cartoon says, uh, "You is and you is not." Okay, yeah. I, I, I I are and I are not. I hear uh, you. <laughs> uh, and there's some things I, I I'm going to do, and I'm not going to do. But whatever I do is geared with a with an eye toward heaven. I do understand. Yes, sir. Amen. Praise yes, God. Sir. So, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Folks can mess around and oh, treat the, the, the p- promises of God, the requirements mm-hmm. of God as discretionary things. I am not. Yes, Lord. Uh, I, I am treating those things as mandatory. So if that means I got to love you, Sean, in spite of you being you, I'm going to love you. <laughs> Amen. I know it's hard to do, but is you it, and Deacon Is it Rembrandt, hard, Pastor? Yeah, it, it's hard. Is. It is. But you and, you and Deacon Rimber are going to be my token into heaven. Amen. Y'all, y'all going to punch my ticket. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. I, I, I'm, I'm teasing you. Yeah, I, I do. I do love both of y'all. Y'all some very good guys. Um, and we, we, we love you too, sir. Amen. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right. So anything else we can, I can answer? Any other questions? Says, no, she's, she's got no more. What about you, Sean? Amen. I'll see you. Uh, uh, not, not this week, sir. Shame before God. Shame <laughs> As he shakes God. his head. Shame <laughs> before God. Mm-hmm. God, I'm working on him, God. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, God. I mean, I, I keep encouraging him, God, and he just yeah. won't do right. Yes. All right. <laughs> he won't do right. Yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Help him, Lord. Help him. Yes, sir. I know. That's what I say, Jesus. Help him. 
Jesus, I even offered to go to his house and do Bible study at the house. <laughs> Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Okay, so, so let's Thank pick you. up where we left off. Yes, sir. We left off where we were talking about what it means Amen. to walk with God. Amen. Praise God. And we're looking at where in Genesis chapter six, it indicates that Noah walked with God. And we're, mm -hmm. we're trying to assess, trying to follow. Uh, this is Genesis chapter six, verse nine. What does it mean to walk with God? I mm -hmm. think this is important because if we can just emulate some of what it appears to be that mm -hmm. Noah did, mm -hmm. then life would be so, so much better for many of us. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things we talked about walking with God, what it means, we said walking God means trusting the Lord God Almighty completely. Mm -hmm. uh, trusting, uh, complete, unequivocating trust. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I again, I think I said a few minutes ago, I'm concerned with the way that we are so equivocal in, in how we understand God. We, we, we only want to understand him in this way when it doesn't have to deal with us. But when it deals with us, we want him to deal with us differently than, than, than he deals with other people. And when we confront trouble, we get bent out of shape. We act like God has violated the conditions and terms of our, of our relationship. Yes, sir. We act like God promised us that there would never be any trouble. Smooth sailing. Yep. Yes, yeah, all the time. Not only right. smooth sailing, but Sean, yes, every time mm -hmm. we go to play the lottery, we hit. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, hey. Amen. That we go into the car dealership. They basically giving us the cars for free. Yes, you sir. Know, uh, amen. When we Free. go to pro when we when we call when we had time to pay the bill, when we call the bill company, the bill, the, the customer service agent is saying to us, you know what? i my our bad. We didn't mean to bill you this week. This right. month, this was supposed right. to be on us. There you, you know, go. We act, we act like yes, sir. everything is supposed to be on the up and up all the time. Yes, sir. And while I wish it was, that's not reality. Right, exactly. Yeah. You know, we act like we're never supposed to be sick. We're never yes, supposed right, to sure. we're never supposed to die. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. I, just, yes, I got loved ones I wish are st were still here right now. Oh, I, yes. I, yes, sir. You do too. Yes, Lord. And guess what? Because mm -hmm. in fact, Zoe and I had this talk. I think mean, she was in 10th and 11th grade. Mm -hmm. She was thinking about college. She said, well, Daddy, I'm not going to leave Charlotte because... What if something happens to you or right. mommy or right. grandma, granddad, right. uh, May Pearl? These yeah. are all parents, grandparents. Relative. Sure, sure, sure. And I said, baby, are you scared of losing us? She said, yes, daddy, I mm -hmm. am. Sure. So I turned the TV. I said, let's have a talk. Mm -hmm. I said, I pray to God that you and I and other of your relatives mm -hmm. live very long lives. Surely, surely. But we don't know what God's plan is. Exactly. We don't know how long God is intending for us to be mm -hmm. here on, on, on the earth. As such, uh, you've got to be ready to accept that when God mm -hmm. calls you home, he called you home. I've got to be ready to accept That's that. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Lord knows I don't want to see it anytime soon. Oh, soon. I, I know, I know. I said, but I said, but there's gonna come a day where daddy's not gonna be here. That's you ain't gonna right. be able to see this beautiful face. You ain't gonna be able to come take all the money out of my wallet like you want. <laughs> take all the money out of my wallet. Hey man, come on. You, you, you got a daughter, Sean. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Hey. <laughs> hey, 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 this 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 year at school, Ryan wanted to do something. Mm -hmm. So next thing I know, I hear her her mother saying, Go ask your daddy, ask your daddy if he'll let you do it. <laughs> And so I'm listening, and, and, she, and she said, right. ask them to give you the money for it, too. I said, oh. <laughs> give you the money for it. Uh -huh. In my pocket. It, it, yes, it, it, and so, again, I get it. I get it. I yes, get it. <laughs> that, that you want me here forever. I yes, want Lord. to be here with you forever. But the reality is we're not meant to be here forever. Yes, Lord right. Jesus. Thank you. 
Right. That, and that whenever God calls me home, please know that I'm happy. I, I, I've, I've been working toward this moment for a long time. Yeah, I, yeah you're right. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Now, I, I'm not happy if someone hurts me and kills me. I, I do understand, sir. I understand. But, but please understand, if, 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 if one day I get sick mm-hmm. and God, that's just how God decided to take me out. I, I do understand. Mm-hmm. And I promise you, I'm going to try to show you what faith looks like being sick. Well, but when I breathe my last breath, that's what I tell y'all at church. I don't want no weeping and crying. I want to party. Mm-hmm. I understand. I want to party. Mm-hmm. I want a band in there playing. Uh, you, you know, I, I, I want I want a table full of food. Mm-hmm. I want streamers hanging from the ceilings. Uh, you know, I, I you know I I I, I want us celebrating because I've earned. It. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Lord. And, and I can say that because I trust God. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. Because you know, I trust God. him completely. Yes, Lord. Jesus, thank and, you. In fact, I remember one person, I ain't gonna call her name. Amen. She's gonna get mad at me. Mm-hmm. But I remember she and her husband were going through something. Yes, Lord. And they're trying to, uh, to explain to me, really justify some of the decisions they were making about what they were gonna do to survive. And I kept saying, nope, you're gonna trust mm-hmm. God. Yes, Lord. They're like, you don't know what it's like to be here. You don't know what it's like to be in a situation where you are stuck or you are this or you are that. Yeah. Like, How do you know? Mm-hmm. Just because what you see doesn't mean it's always been like this. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, sir. I understand. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you to trust God because guess what? I've seen God come through in those situations. <clears throat> and I believe that if he came through for me, he'll come through for you. You also, yeah. So mm-hmm. if we're going to walk with God, we got to trust him completely. Not only that, but we also got to have unwavering and unequivocal faith mm. in his presence, purpose, and power. Yes, Lord. You got to know, no matter where you are, there he is. Mm. They never leave Carol, us. Carol, even if Sean is not there standing beside you, you're good because God is. Amen. Even if the two of you can't find me, wow. you're good. God is there with you. Amen. Thank you. And of all persons you want to be there with you, you want God there. Amen. Amen. Thank you. That's right. It's it's nice as I can be there to encourage you and intercede on your behalf. But the truth is, between me and God, you don't want me there. You want God there. Amen. Thank you, sir. Here's another thing. A lot of times we don't like his purpose because we don't like how it's realized. But there's a purpose for everything. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Again, yeah. Uh, no one wants to be sick. That's right. Yeah. But how? But how is anyone ever going to learn that God will sustain you in the midst of an illness, or that mm-hmm. God can heal an illness if no yes, one gets sick? True. True. Yes. True. Yes, sir. No one wants to be betrayed. No one exactly. wants to be uh, a backstabbed. But how are you going to know? That he that vengeance is his and that he shall mm-hmm. repay. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yes. Unless you are in a situation where someone has done you wrong. That's right, betrayed you. Yeah. 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 How you know that, he, that God right. is uh, a, a bridge over troubled water That's if right. you never ever found yourself um, yeah. confronted with troubled waters between yeah. you and the other side? That's right, John. You, 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 you got there's a purpose. And why you're going through, why you're experiencing, why you're dealing with something. Mm-hmm. And it's up to us to trust that purpose. And we got to trust God's power. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. Yes, Someone online is laughing right now about what I just said about trust of God. And she oh, said, yeah. it sounds familiar. I hope it does, person. <laughs> I'm not going to call your name, but I hope it does sound familiar. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Uh, yes, how you... Yes, sir. You know, one of the issues I run into with people mm-hmm. is it ain't so much his presence that, that we question. Mm-hmm. It ain't so much his presence or purpose that we question. It's mm-hmm. his power. Mm-hmm. Pastor, I've been dealing with this so long that I get the impression God can't do it. Mm-hmm. Pastor, I've been bearing this weight so long, I don't think God's going to take it off me. But yes, sir. I, yeah. You start questioning whether he has the power and ability to do something. God has the power and ability. 
But guess what? Mm, Persons that can bear 300 pounds are required to bear the 300 pounds while persons right. that can only bear 100 are only required to bear the 100. 100, that's right. The problem that's is we are looking at what someone else is not bearing and we think they should bear what we, we don't realize we each are, bear different weights. You're right, I agree, yes sir. In fact, I saw this on Instagram. It, it, it was a meme that said, stop comparing your chapter one with someone's chapter 86. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I they you. are they are further down the road. They That's should right. be experiencing things differently than you. You're just they starting and whatever right. that is. And mm -hmm. I had to say ouch when I saw that because guess what? I've been there. I understand. Mm -hmm. I have looked at other lawyers and said to me, said to God, mm -hmm. God, why is it I'm that you ain't let me have a practice like that? And I God understand. literally looked at me laughing, talking about, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> this dude has been practicing 28 years. I hear you. Yes, sir. You ain't got the 10 yet. This was on young. You ain't got the 10 yet. And you think that you should have a practice where people like him? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Like that person. That person has practiced so long. He's built up such a good reputation. Oh, yeah. He sure. advertised because his 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 clients are doing the advertisement for him. Who are you? Yes, people sir. don't know you. They don't know how good you are. You haven't, you haven't developed the track record yet where they can just come in and be willing to spend money on you? I understand, sir. Yes, sir. You know, what, what, I had to tell my wife this one day. Mm -hmm. uh, she was playfully complaining that many of her kids, her friend's kids, yeah. are going to college. Sure. And that they're able to start going on the vacations. They, sure. they want to go with their husbands. I hear you. I, I had to remind her, I said, you do understand, right, that they started having babies right after college, right? Yes, sir. Right. I said, yes, right. I, I, yes. I, I, I said, you too had the chance to start that. But no, you want to be Miss Independent, Miss Businesswoman, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I know. I, I, and, and she loves to say, I didn't have it. I said, you met me yes, sir. two weeks after you graduated from college. So you had a yes, chance sir. to start right after college, too. Okay. I said, okay. Now, I, said, now, I said, now, please understand. I wasn't trying to get have get married and have babies immediately. Right, I understand. But we, but I said, but we could have been married and has, started having babies much sooner than we did. Oh, oh yeah, I understand. And we yeah. too could be looking toward the horizon of freedom. Yes, I do understand. You yeah. know, Sam. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I understand. But the problem is, she's comparing mm. our chapter one to her girlfriend's chapters eighty six. I do understand, sir. Mm -hmm. And so when you do that, yeah, it's always going to feel like you're mm -hmm. disadvantaged that God is treating you unfair. That's true. But but you can't let what you're seeing, what you're experiencing, mm -hmm. make you feel as right. if you will never, ever yeah, walk you in mm -hmm. possess the power of God. Really? Amen. Yes, sir. So, I agree. This is where we picking up because I'm wanting mm -hmm. to pick up last time. Amen. Praise God. Uh, another meaning, another thing with it, what it means when we say someone is walking with God, Noah walked with God, is that we are being absolutely obedient to God's instruction. Mm -hmm. And before anyone says, duh, pastor, I know, please let me tell you how difficult obedience really is. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I have left church mm -hmm. preaching and teaching mm -hmm. where I have instructed you all mm -hmm. to be kind to your neighbors, to love your neighbors. <laughs> and someone has cut me off I hear you. <laughs> traffic. And I've told them about themselves, their mama, and their children. Everybody. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's yeah. how difficult it is to be obedient to the word of sure. God. Totally, I do understand. That something happened, it made me mad, and I reacted to it yes, faster yes, than I can realize it. That by the time I realized I reacted, mm -hmm. I reacted. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Here's another one that gets people. Mm -hmm. God tells us to do something. It ain't mm -hmm. what he tells us to do. It's who he tells us to do it for. I do understand. <laughs> Too many of us are the Hatfields and the McCoys. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. And we would rather die in hell 
Surely. Than to see some people <laughs> be blessed by God, us to do some things for some That's people. That's right. I hear you. That's Come on, right. we've heard people say, I'd rather die. Mm-hmm. Then do such and such. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather give my last dollar to such and such than to give it to this person over here. That's right. I'd rather That's be right. broke homeless and on the street than to <laughs> broke and homeless. <laughs> Come on, tell you you've heard people say it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the instructions many times isn't simply to do X, Y, and Z, it's to do X, Y, and Z for person A, B, and C. That's right. Yes, sir. Who we have to do it for. Mm-hmm. We ain't too kind. We ain't too keen on. Yeah, I know. The the I, script, the scripture we've been using for the last few inspiration Wednesdays is the Good Samaritan scripture. Okay. All right, Luke chapter ten, verses twenty five to thirty seven, and in Luke chapter ten, verse twenty five thirty seven, the issue is who is who is who who do we consider our neighbors? Okay. Now, we've, been, we've been approaching it from the the perspective of being spiritually accountable. Okay. That spiritually accountable servants serve God exactly as, as he instructs them to mm-hmm. and serves persons and how we find them, not how we want them to be, but how to, we to be, find yeah. them. And so what we see in the scripture is that both the priest and the Levite would not serve the injured man laying on the side of the road because yes, they were too worried about upholding the law. The law mm-hmm. talked about not touching a dead carcass, and the man looked dead. Dead, huh? But here comes the Samaritan, not mm-hmm. governed by the law, not related to God, not connected mm-hmm. to God, but he mm-hmm. shows more spiritual accountability right. than do the persons that are charged with being spiritually accountable. Yes, sir. Obedience. Mm-hmm. This is why Samuel says to Saul, do you think God delights in sacrifices rather than obedience? Mm. Do you think that the fatted ram is better than heeding the word? Don't you know uh, that 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 disobedience is sin, and mm. and 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 disobeying is like practicing yeah. witchcraft? I say it all the time. Many times, faith is not necessarily us believing in the impossible. Faith, many times, is us being obedient. Mm. That's where we have difficulty. Yeah, yeah. Think about this. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm always going to give him credit for this. I'm eternally indebted to Bishop John Guns. He preached a sermon that talked that dealt with the difference between being the water carriers and being the water transformers. Okay. And, and he says many times, many Christians fail at Christian discipleship and stewardship because we think our duty is to transform the water mm-hmm. when our duty is merely to carry the water. Harry, yes, sir, I hear you. Okay. Uh, he, he used the, 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 the story about Jesus at the wedding. Mm-hmm. And what happens before jesus transformed the water uh his mother comes to him and says mm-hmm. out of wine all right he ain't got no more wine yeah that's right and right. so jesus asked what did they have and so they had those cisterns full of dirty water mm-hmm. his mother says to, to the workers to the servants do what he said he says you to do yeah so they're obedient mm-hmm. they brought him the water right they didn't complain that it was dirty. They didn't complain right. that this water had been used to clean feet. They didn't right, right, that right. The water got germs, or whatever. <laughs> they just brought the water. Yes, sir. They were obedient. Yes, sir. It was God, mm-hmm. Jesus, i.e., Jesus, that did the impossible by transforming it right. yes, water sir. into wine. Right, sir. See, many times we don't understand our obligations our duties our duties mm-hmm. is not to transform anything our it's duty right. is to bring whatever <laughs> it is that needs transforming to God. yeah that's right this is why we had the statement we catch the fish he cleans mm-hmm. them. that's right and if we could understand that if we can understand that and stay in our lane Lane, yes sir then we will experience the movement of god i agree yes sir People that walk with God 
stay in their lanes. They're obedient to God. They don't care what God says. If God says, go paint that wall, they go paint that wall. If God goes push against that wall, they'll push against that wall. If God says, uh, pray to the wall, pray about the wall, they'll pray about it. If God says, shout about to the wall, they'll say, they do whatever God tells them to do because they realize there's a purpose in God's instruction. They want to be obedient. Mm -hmm. That we were talking last week with, with my students in their interim session, we were talking about what it means to be prophetic. And one of the things we all can rationalize and understand is this requirement to speak truth to power or speak mm-hmm. truth to others. But one thing I wanted them to know is how difficult it is to speak truth. Mm-hmm. Because nine times out of 10, we, we always anticipate God calling us to speak truth to some enemy. The truth is he he hardly ever calls us to speak truth to some enemy. He calls us to speak truth to someone we know, someone we intimately familiar with, something that we're in relation, someone that we're in relationship with. Sure, sure. And how do you tell someone that you love, care about, that you really enjoy their presence, that their poo-poo stinks? Yep, I hear you. Very difficult. How do you tell them that they're wrong? Mm Mm-hmm. I make you laugh. I tried to tell my mom she was wrong about something. She said, no, you don't tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. I'm your mom. I'm like, mom, I don't (laughs) I'm just telling you what God said. You were wrong on that. You shouldn't have done that with that person. No, she was going off on me. (laughs) As if I don't have the the right or the privilege to tell her when she's wrong. I I do understand. Yes, sir. And finally, I said, mom, you ought to be happy now. I'm telling you that you're wrong because guess Mm. what? Evidently, other people around you were scared to say this to you. Right, right. That's probably true. Yeah, yeah. And what was yeah. happening, the person that you have hurt uh, doesn't want you around anymore okay. because you, you, the way you acted. That's what right. I said. I said, I'm giving you a chance to, to make amends so that God yeah. doesn't hold you against you. I don't care if they don't want to accept your apology. I just that's don't want right. God that's to hold you. Ma'am. Yeah, you're right. Because I want you to be in heaven with me. That's right, sir. Got to be obedient. Got to be obedient. But it's hard. It's hard. Obedience is hard. It Mm -hmm. really is. And for those people who say it easy, I'm willing to bet you it's only easy because you're obedient doing, because you've been obedient doing the things you want. You want to do. Mm -hmm. Come talk to me when you run into something that you don't want to do. That's right. Then we will talk about how easy. Amen. Yes, sir. Here's another thing. We follow his lead. When we say we walk with God, we follow his lead without question. Yes, sir. Do I cannot tell you how many times it wears me out when I'm trying to share with folks what God's instructions are. And yes, we sir. 10,000 questions. <laughs> 10,000 questions. <laughs> And many times what we what we are posing as questions, questions. Yeah. are not really questions. They're your objection. To That's what, what it is. Yeah. I hear you. Yep. Uh, yeah. How do you know that's what? Yeah. How do you know that's what? Yeah. I know. I'm telling you what God told me. Mm-hmm. Right. How do you know that? And, 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 and if there's anyone that should be listening to the voice of God, it should be you. Amen. Yes, sir. Same voice that convicts me. It's the same voice that tells me to do X, Y, and Z. It's the yes, same sir. voice that, let me give you an example. So mm-hmm. the, the other day, I think I shared this at church uh, sermon and a sermon two weeks ago. I was with the client. We we're trying to get the client a document notarized so I could go file the document at the courthouse, right? Yes, sir. So we're at one place. They said they don't have uh, a notary. We were going to another place. We mm-hmm. went there. The notary was on vacation. Right. And so at that moment, I heard God say, go to the Kinko's. Okay. Yeah. 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 I said, okay, there's a, there's a well far going something else around the corner. We can stop there on the way to Kinko's. God said, no, go to the Kinko's. Right. Right. I didn't do it. We stopped at Wells Fargo, which the branch was closed. We stopped some places that's closed. So by the time we got the well to Kinko's, the person behind the desk said, you just missed our notary. They're gone for the day. Yes, sir. Come back tomorrow. See, God was telling me to go to the Kinko's because I yeah. knew they were going to leave. That's right. Yeah. 
And that was that, and that I know that voice, and I've heard that voice tell me to do things before. I knew I should have gone when he said it. Right. That's mm-hmm. the same voice that says to me, y- "Y'all need to do this at First Fellowship Charlotte." I hear. You. But when I have I said that to folks, oh my God! <laughs> Here come the questions, i.e., the objections. <laughs> Pastor, we not such and such church. We don't have so many people. Yeah, we don't have such and such money. We don't. <laughs> and I had to say this a couple of people. I don't care who you are. Exactly. Yeah. Do what God told you to do. Yes, sir. If you've really been studying your word, you would know we don't. Need <laughs> have you been studying your word? Yeah. Seriously. Yes, Lord. I, I hey, gave Lord. you. I gave you an example of this Sunday. Hmm. The woman with the one jar of oil. Yes, sir. God tells her to get all the is me. And you got to you got you got to use your spiritual imagination to say every room in that house had jars in there. Yes, sir. And, okay. And stacks of jars. Yes, sir. Because it take it took her a while to fill the jars, but yes, she only had a jar. So I'm sitting here thinking about a masonry jar. Yes, sir. Or maybe <laughs> that's eight ounces. Maybe one is sixteen ounces. Okay. That's all the all she had. Right. Yes, sir. Imagine her objecting to uh, or having questions about God's lead. Wait a second, God, how are we going to do this? I only yeah. got 16 <laughs> ounces of oil. Every time I've emptied the oil out of the jar, that's all the oil I got. How are we going to get more oil? You didn't tell me to go ask anybody for oil. You just said get the jar. <laughs> what I'm going to do when I can't fill up all these empty jars because Man. I don't have enough oil. Guess what? She had yeah. to follow his lead without question. That's right, sir. What you did. And that's what she did. That's exactly what you did. She started pouring. Mm-hmm. And, yes, I, and I, I think her human side at one point, <laughs> probably when she first started, she's like, I don't know how this is going to happen. That's right. I'm, I'm pretty sure it did. It must have kicked in. Yep. It had to. Got to sure. give her, you got to be real with the scripture. That's right. But something in her said, keep pouring. Keep doing it. Yeah. And she kept pouring mm-hmm. and pouring and mm-hmm. pouring and pouring until her house looked mm-hmm. like a vat of olive oil. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yeah. One, you know, you know how you drive by the milk processing plants or the, or, or the gas station. Pro- they got these big container vats. I mean, oh yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Big. Until she had that much oil in her house. Yes, yes sir. Like, check this. She could sell it, pay off her debts, and then live for the rest of her life. Right, All sir. That, that one, right. that one, I, I, selling just those jars. That's right, sir. That's falling without question. Right, sir. Amen. That's that. So true. Amen. Uh, what it, 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 uh, what remember this story about where the centurion walked up on Jesus and Jesus said, what can I do for you? He said, I have a servant that's sick, mm-hmm. really ill. I want you to heal him. And Jesus says, okay, I'll go to you. I said, no, you ain't got to go to my you house. You don't have to. Yeah, that's right. You say the word. I believe I'm a man on authority. I know you're a man on authority. When mm-hmm. I say something, things happen. When you say something, things happen. Things so happen. That's faith. Because yes, he, he says, not in all of Israel have I come across someone with faith mm-hmm. like yours. Strong, not like yours. Yeah. That's yes. following, following his lead without question. Right. Uh, uh, Trying to give you another one. Um, when Jesus spits in the mud, in the dirt, makes mud, spittle. Right, right, right. He says, go wash and come back. You don't right, hear him about, how I'm going to get there. I already couldn't see. Now I got <laughs> mud on my face. <laughs> Jesus, don't you know I'm blind? What do you mean go wash? I don't know if I'm standing beside a, a pool or the ocean. You're right. I'm going to get there. <laughs> what we see is he, him go wash. Yes, sir. When he did, he be saw. Yes, sir. Amen. If we're going to follow God, if we're going to walk yep. with God, we follow his lead without yep. question. Amen. We don't question him. We follow mm-hmm. his lead. Plain and simple, yeah. And so let me say this to someone, because I'm sure this is going to be a little, a little harsh on someone. No. If you cannot trust him, 
completely. If you cannot possess unwavering and unequivocal faith in his presence, purpose, and power, if you cannot be absolutely obedient to him, if you cannot lead without you cannot follow his lead without question then you are not ready to 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 be deemed a servant that walks with god here's another one that we do now this is one that gets a lot of us in trouble sean <laughs> we don't have regular counsel with the lord mm. here's the thing we do talk to him but guess when we talk to him when we're when, in trouble when we need something yeah we need something that's right any other time, how, how I know this happened, because other than you, Carol, and Sister Guy and a couple others, I hardly ever see people in Bible study. But let them get in trouble. All of a sudden, they show them the Bible study. They faithful then. <laughs> I hear you say, yes, sir. I watch how many people come faithfully to service. Right, 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 right. And, and I and I can distinguish those who are have jobs that are working on Sunday. Oh, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Those who just are not coming. I do understand. Of course. Of course. Of course, of course you do. But let something happen. Oh, right. my God, Pastor, I need you to get on your face and knees. I need you to talk to God. I need you to your ask him what I'm supposed to do. And I need Lord. you to and tell him to give it to you in plain language so I can get it done. That's right, sir. I hear you. And, I, and so many times I want to say, why can't you do that? In fact, why haven't you done that? Amen. Yes, sir. Why yes, sir. have you sat back here Joy. and not done it? Jesus, thank you. Those people who walk with God are constantly in counsel with him. Mm -hmm. We're interacting. We're talking to him. We're listening to him. We're receiving direction. Day, every day, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All day, every day. It's right, sir. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> uh, Sister Kristen said, I come every, I ain't talking about you, Sister Kristen. So I come every week virtually. <laughs> yes, you do. And you attend Bible study every week virtually. That ain't what I'm talking about. I ain't talking about you. Look at <laughs> I'm getting you little feelings because I said that I ain't talking about <laughs> you, Kristen. Feelings, uh, talking yeah. about other folks. Amen. Yes, Amen. Sir. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Uh, but but Please. we got to but we got to have be in counsel with God, interacting with God, because I don't know what He wants you to do if you aren't there listening for Him to tell you what He no, wants you to do. Very true, sir. That's cool. In Jesus. fact, Kristen probably remembers this. We had a member at Epiphany mm -hmm. every week ask the same question: How do I know when God's talking to me? Okay. And she would ask us so much. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Some part, some some part of me want to say, when you be quiet and let him talk. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. You're so, you busy, you're so busy asking the question that you're not yes, being quiet long enough to let him talk. Right. But she she want to know, and I and I used to tell her, you know, mm -hmm. you know, he's talking to you when he's talking to you. Surely, surely, hey, amen. And, and he's talking to you. When you are having conversation with him. So if you're not having a conversation with him, he's not talking to you. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you. You know, uh, but if you're going to have conversation, he's, God is a, if I was talking with someone today at Ryan's field day, mm. we were talking about how some people, how some people are antisocial socialites, mm. that they're good with you not talking to them. Then there are people who are very social. I'm very social. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I talk to everyone. Mm -hmm. um, but here's the thing. And I was teasing this person. I said, sometimes I'll even make people talk to me. I'll go in a place where you don't yes, want to talk, but I'll yes. make you talk. <laughs> but I find, I, 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 uh, Kristen says you remember. I, I, I will make you talk because uh, I find it fun to, to, I, watch yes, you, to watch you contort and reconfigure yourself. <laughs> to talk. You have decided you are not going to talk to me. Amen. I, it's fun to me. Um, I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I say all that to say God really wants to talk to us. Sure, he does. Many times he tries I'm to make us talk to him by mm -hmm. showing up. And, and too many of us are refusing to talk to him because we don't want to talk. Then we mm -hmm. got to show up the church talking about, I don't know when he's talking to me, <laughs> when he's speaking to me. Well, yes. if you had spent the time this week talking to him when he wanted to talk, maybe you'd be able to discern him. Maybe. Yes, sir. 
Amen. Other people for other people is uh turn off everything else. He you can't mm-hmm. hear him while everything else is going. You going need on. a quiet place so that you can initially learn how and to hear the voice. Chilling. Now there are times he talks to me and everything is going on around me. But guess what? Actually- him and I have a long history of talking with each other. I do so, so that guess what? It's like it's like you and Carol being somewhere in a crowd and she says something to you and you can hear her immediately. Yes, yes sir. Now, whether or not you answer her is another question. Uh, <laughs> but, but you hear her. Uh, amen. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but, but here's the thing. We, but we got to be in counsel with God. We yes, really sir. have to be in counsel. Right. Yeah. Here, and here's another thing we have to do. We are walking with God when we glorify him in all things. Jesus, all you. speech and action. Mm-hmm. But let me say this again. It's easy to praise him and glorify him when things are on the up and up. That's right. Going, going well. Our challenge to everyone is, can we glorify him when things mm. are going horribly wrong? Surely you're right. I, I hear. When it hurts, sure. when there's suffering abound, when we're losing, when we're lost, yes, when Lord. we're devastated, when we're uh, destroyed, when yes, we're Lord. decimated, can we glorify him even, oh, yes, can we be like Paul? Oh. Paul, not Paul, Job. He says, uh, mm. all things comes from God, all things return to God. All, I was born of dust, and to dust mm. shall I return. Glory mm. be to the God, to the Lord. Can we glorify God like that? Mm-hmm. Do we need a reason to right, praise right. him? Or can mm. we just praise him? Just let me tell you the other day, I was sitting on the back porch and I was enjoying. Uh, a, 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 a confection. I yes, said like, I was enjoying a confection, mm-hmm. and it was just me on the back porch. It was late at night. Mm-hmm. Uh, see that Nicole had gone into our bedroom for where I was sitting on the back porch, and right, I could right, tell right. she was wrapping down, going, getting ready to go to bed. Right. Yes. Sir. Was sitting there, and I and I said to myself, "Thank you, God, for yes, everything sir. you've given me." That's right. I don't have a I don't have any reason order just in other than just to praise you. I do understand. I don't need anything. Surely, surely. I really don't want anything. Right. But I want to praise you because when I look all around me, That's I right. see surely. The blessings of the Lord. Bless your hand on everything. That's right, sir. Yes, sir. Not just me, but this family is yes, where Lord. we are because you got you. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Not, nothing, none of this can we claim we did it on our own. It's no, only because that's right, sir. Because of you. In fact, I had to remind Nicole that I'm like, okay, yeah, you you've done a lot, but guess what? God's done more. That's and right, sir. You've done, God has enabled you to do it. So technically, that's it was right. God who did it. Yes, that's Lord Jesus you were Lord. just the vessel or the prison yeah, that he used, yeah. broke it You're down right. and gave it to us. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. But we are who we are. We are where we are because yes. God. Did it? You made the difference, yes, Lord. I agree. Should none of us mm-hmm. ever get to be that big and bad, that bold to did, think did it by, who we are because of who we are? Mm-hmm. Please, you ain't that good. You ain't that wonderful. Mm-hmm. You ain't that awesome. Mm-hmm. You just as me- I was going to use a bad word, but you just as messed <laughs> up as I am. <laughs> you just as flawed as I am. I hear you, sir. And the reason why you got what you have is because mm-hmm. God sought to bless you to have it. I hear you. You can't even say your hard work got it because there are people who work hard every day. That's and right. still still on. That's, right. That's, very true. That's very true. Sir. I agree. You have it because of God's the, the, the uh, goodness of the Lord. That's right, sir. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Goodness and therefore, Lord. you ought to glorify Him from that's just right. because, just because, Praise who you. Him just of because, honor Him just because, because. Like Sister Kristen said, just waking up is reason to pray. Amen. Right. You don't give us, Kristen, jump out of bed, get busy starting our day without stopping to thank him. That's right, sir. Waking us up. That's right. Didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it. Thank you. Could have left us right where right, we sir. are. Right. Last night, could have, when you close your eyes, that could have been the last time you closed. That could have been the last, last night is right. Yes, sir. But for a reason beyond my understanding and imagination, 
Yes, he Lord. woke me up. Yes, he did. The only thing I can say in regards <laughs> to that is that he must really love me. And he yes, Lord. Think that there's something I can do for yes, him. Lord. And yes, because Lord. of that, I'm going to give him all the praise and glory. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've got to make praising him simpler. Yes, Lord. A priority, yeah. Yes, we, we, we've got to make praising him easy. Mm. And we've got to stop thinking that we need some grandiose, large, mm. overwhelming reason to praise him. That's right, sir. We got to get, we, walking with God is praising him. Mm. In fact, I find myself throughout the day praising him for a little. In fact, I'm getting, I'm getting ready to praise him for these hot dogs I'm going to have for lunch and these, right. these, these Tostitos. Amen. That's amen. Right. It may not be the gourmet meal I may want, but amen. I'm about to praise him for giving me food to have to eat. I amen. know that. Yes, right. Very, very true, Pastor. Yes, right. Sir. We amen. glorify him in our thought, our speech, yes, Lord, and our thank actions. You. Amen. Mm. amen. Uh, evidently, Noah did all these things and more. Now, please understand that this list I'm giving you is not exclusive. I, I know that's right. Yes, sir. There are other ways that you can walk with God. And if you're walking with God, and I haven't mentioned how you're walking with God, please do, do not hear me say that you're not walking with God. You are walking with God. I just want us to get an idea of what it means to walk with God. It, it yes, is. Lord. It is literally a hearing to him and, mm -hmm. and, and, and following him wherever he goes in everything you do. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank and you. evidently Noah did all these things all that. Yes, Lord. and more. Yes, Amen. Lord. So let's end here. Let's pause right here. It's a little bit after 115. Let's pause right here. Yes, Amen. Lord. Thank you. Let me uh, stop sharing my screen. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Are there any prayer requests we want to lift up? Uh, today, amen. Not that we have, no. Okay, amen. No, sir, thank you anyway. Thanks for asking them. No problem. If you haven't, send me a text message. I'll send you, okay, and I will, sir. Thank you. Amen. Make sure you give me the first and last name so we'll be sure to know who we praying for. Uh, amen. So let's do this. Let's have our closing word of prayer. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Dear Father God, yes, creator of the heavens and the earth, thank you for today. Thank you for yes, part of this space, place, and time for us to come together to worship you, God, in spirit and in truth. God, we needed the, a word today. We needed yes, direction and guidance and discernment and wisdom and understanding and knowledge and information so that, God, our service yes, may Lord. be effective, effectual, yes. uh, efficacious, and, and efficient. God, we pray right now that what you've dealt with us today yes, Lord. is like seed planted in fertile soil that gives mm -hmm. growth to a new life, to a new plant, a new shrub, a new vine, a new tree that produces mm -hmm. a harvest 30, mm -hmm. 60, 100 times over. Father God, we pray right now that you find something praiseworthy in us, yes, that you find us to be faithful and obedient, yes, that you'll find us to be willing to serve you and go where you would have us go. Now, Father God, as we bring this yes, Bible Lord. study session to a close, we thank you, God, for everyone here, their families yes, represented, Lord. their communities represented, <clears throat> just them, God. Yes, Lord. And God, we pray that you add a special blessing to them as they move Amen. throughout this day. Yes, Father Lord. God, we pray for our church family. Please, we Lord pray Jesus. for our community. We pray for this city. We pray, God, for other churches. We pray for the state, this country, this world. Yes, Lord Jesus. And God, we pray that your will will be done in all things. Now, Father God, protect us and keep us. Please, and never leave us. Watch over us, God, as we continue to live. Bring us to Sunday where we're able to worship mm -hmm. you again in spirit and in truth. It's in your son's mighty, matchless, marvelous, magnificent name that we do pray. Amen. 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 I bless you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, everyone. Have a blessed day. I will see you Sunday. Lord uh, willing, in the creek, don't rise. Enjoy, enjoy those hot dogs, sir. Thank you. Sir. I sure will, sir. I, I know you will. Thank you. Take care. Have a blessed day. All right. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Bye. <laughs>